Either buy it or shut up. That's how I feel personally, to be honest. What is up, big bags? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand spanking new Fenty hair by Robin Rihanna Fenty. Listen, we have Fenty Beauty, we have Fenty Skin. It's only right to do Fenty hair, right? 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 If you're new here, what is up? My name is Kenora, aka No No, and I'm happy to have you here. Feel free to subscribe and join the channel and become a big bag. <laughs> we're all big bags here. Today, we're going to be breaking down Fenty hair and why y'all are hating but no in all seriousness we're gonna break down Fenty hair what it's about and if it's gonna be successful or not so without further ado let's get into the video for those who happen to click on this video and you just may not know what Fenty hair is I will give you a brief breakdown Fenty hair is by the iconic American singer Rihanna Rihanna is a singer Grammy nominated she's just a really big singer in America okay I believe in 2016 2017 she launched Fenty Beauty which has gone to be very successful by the way complete cosmetics makeup line she launched Fenty skin which specializes in skincare and body care and now we have Fenty hair which specializes in all hair types Fenty hair has gotten a lot of heat and has been very controversial for some good reason and we will get into that when Rihanna first launched Fenty hair everybody in the beauty community was shook because I don't know any other makeup brands that have gone to do skincare body care and then hair care it's usually always stuck in like the body care skin care makeup type of wave but Rihanna branched out into hair care now a lot of people are like why is she going into hair care it sounds like a cash grab and you know at first I was kind of like yeah but if you follow Rihanna and you are a fan in the Rihanna Navy you know Rihanna has expressed herself multiple years through many eras through her hair we know about her when she came out with her initial breakthrough with her innocent blonde hair we know when she went into her bad girl phase she had the black hair and then when she wanted to get into more of the what, what, what would you call it like more of a lighter feel she went with the red hair like her hair is just very iconic and she has multiple looks so personally to me Fenty hair made sense now the products and stuff that came with Fenty hair were kind of a shocker to a lot of us personally in my opinion when Re first launched Fenty hair I initially thought wigs braiding hair do rags scarves bonnets edge control I did not think full-blown hair products like shampoo conditioner all that stuff I didn't think of that that wasn't the first thing that I thought of a lot of people were shocked that she even launched Fenty hair I did a video last year I believe on TikTok basically stating that she did patent and trademark the name Fenty hair and this was last year like I said it, it was it was a minute ago so we kind of already knew that it was coming we just didn't know when I believe Rihanna said that this took years in the making it took a really long time to make so she spent a lot of time perfecting Fenty hair so I think it's pretty iconic that she waited so long to launch it but a lot of people are upset <laughs> let's get into the controversy of the launch promo a lot of people were pissed about the launch she had a marketing video go up basically about her going around into the neighborhood I don't I think it was kind of like a fantasy land I'm not sure but she was just walking around like different neighborhoods and you know it showed people with their different hair types straight hair curly coily locks all that stuff and she was just like passing out her products it was basically promo for Fenty hair however she had on a wig <laughs> she had on a wig and a lot of people were pissed that she was not showing her real hair in a marketing advertisement for hair. And I'm kind of biased about that, especially because you guys know I have background in cosmetology. One, Re is postpartum, okay? She had two kids. She's basically snapping back with her hair. So not, not to my knowledge, she hasn't shown us her real hair, but we all know a common issue with pregnancy when it comes to postpartum, your hair falls out, mainly around your hairline. So, you know, I feel like her not showing us her real hair is her business. A lot of people said the wig she had on was obvious. In my humble opinion, as a hairstylist, I don't think it was a wig. I think it was a quick weave. 
I think it was a quick weave. I think it was a nice 27 piece or she had some glued pieces bonded in between her real hair because her look that she wore at the Fenty hair event, basically promoting and launching Fenty hair, she had a short curly blonde fro and the length that she had there did not match the length in the promo. So that was not her all her real hair shown in the promo. So I think she glued some pieces in between her hair and in the back, but that's just my guess. A lot of people were upset about that though personally I thought the look was cute everybody has to realize to put your hair into a protective style you still need good hair products you know what I'm saying especially because your hair is going underneath braids sew in quick weave for an extended amount of time you're not going to be touching your real hair you need to prep and hydrate your hair correctly so your hair can thrive underneath those protective styles so because she had a protective style it didn't bother me at all now a lot of people are like why is she even dropping hair care in the first place I feel like personally it is something that Ri really is passionate about. I feel like even down to like the bottles and the launch and the packaging and just the marketing you can just tell she's very passionate behind it and I can just say that a lot of these other celebrity brands do not give a damn about their brand. They launch it, they forget about it and keep it moving. Ri has always had her face front and center with every product that she's launched. She's very passionate and one thing I can say about Fenty is that she does it right. Venti always does it right. They either come full throttle or not at all. And I respect that so much as a consumer. If the girl is passionate about hair care, let her be passionate about hair care and spread the love. Either buy it or shut up. That's how I feel personally, to be honest. Let's talk about the big elephant in the room. A lot of people are comparing Sacred, which is Beyonce Knowles hairline, to Fenty hair. Now there's a lot of controversy about that. Personally, I don't know too much about Sacred hair. If I wasn't a content creator, I, I thought to myself, I was like, would I personally go out and buy Sacred? No, just because Beyonce, I don't, it, <laughs> I like Beyonce, I do. But anything that she sells, I'm not gonna just run out and buy it. And a lot of people were talking about this on threads. I'm on threads, not Twitter right now. Follow me on threads if you don't and follow me on IG. But a lot of people were talking about the marketing versus Sacred and Fenty hair. Beyonce, when she launched Sacred hair, she promoted it for like a good couple of weeks, popped up with her video with her real hair, her using Sacred on herself, and then she disappeared. Poof, no, just nothing. The Sacred products alone aren't really similar to Fenty hair products. Sacred hair is basically more so about like reconstruction, shine, maintenance. It gives very much salon vibes. And Fenty hair is also with reconstruction, but it's a lot more, it's a lot more inviting. In my opinion, and I hope nobody takes this the wrong way, I see Sacred hair as Sephora, maybe even like Neiman Marcus. And then I see Fenty hair as like Ulta. And I know people are like, you know what does that mean? Like Ulta's cheaper? I feel like Sephora has a specific demographic that they go towards, whether it's like older women, um, more mature women, bougie, larger budget type of um, demographic. And Ulta is for everyone, everyone, everybody. So that's how I feel. I feel like Beyonce only targeted like one specific audience with her brand. I don't know. I, I feel like that demographic that she targeted is obviously her fans. I feel like her fan base is so strong that they'll basically buy anything from her as well as older women because her mom did put a lot of work into the line as well. Her mom is a licensed cosmetologist. So I feel like her mom kind of introduced a new demographic as well versus Fenty Hair. Re has marketed herself in a way to target everyone. Because her brand is based off of inclusivity, everybody is invited, everybody is involved, and everybody wants to be a part of it. And I just find that so cool about Fenty. There's nothing wrong with either brand. I have not tried Sacred. I do have Fenty hair. I have the whole collection. It actually just came in the mail today, so I will be trying that out. If you guys want a video, let me know down below in the comments. In my opinion, I feel like Fenty hair is going to have a little bit more longevity than Sacred. That's just my opinion just from being like a marketing nerd I just don't see sacred re sacred really being as big as Fenty because B doesn't push she doesn't push her stuff okay please don't come up here being mean beehive I'm telling the truth you guys know I'm telling the truth <laughs> even the process behind the products like B never really went into depth on why she chose that color that shape those specific products like 
obviously she wants to reconstruct the hair, heal the hair, hydrate the hair. But Re, she, reading the little pamphlet that came with the collection, she was very hands on. She made sure to use products that were familiar to her. Like in every product I know with her skincare collection, she likes to use Barbados Cherry. I like how she has like familiarities tied to her brand always it's just so smart and so inviting rihanna being like a fragrance lover as well she made sure to custom make fragrance to where it's something that she's proud of and she's obsessed with and i just really like how specific she was going over with the fragrance she was like the fragrance is something that you never smell before it's gonna be like showstopper and it definitely is it smells really really good Initially, I'm gonna be completely honest, initially when I smelled it, I didn't really care for it. But when you have it like spread out on your fingers and you let it linger, it smells so good. I would definitely wear it as a perfume. But it's just the little things like that. Like people can tell when you care about something and when you don't give a fuck about something. In conclusion, y'all need to just be quiet and give Fenty hair a chance. Like she's here, she's there. There's nothing we can do about it. All our bitching and moaning is not going to make it disappear. Just try it. And if you don't want to try it, keep it moving. Now I am super excited to try this stuff, especially the edge control. If you like videos like this, which consist of beauty commentary, I have a whole playlist of videos. I'll put it on either side for you to watch. I never know which side it's going to be on. And make sure you subscribe to my channel just to know whenever I upload, I upload every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye.